One of my viewers has requested me to show how Logitech Flow actually works. So I gave Logitech Flow a try. To my surprise, I didn't know Logitech Flow was so useful until I started using it. I'll show you in this video what I've discovered. If you haven't used Logitech Flow before, it actually allows us to seamlessly switch our keyboard and mouse between two or more computers simply by moving the mouse from one end of the screen into the next computer. The effect is like dual screen monitors, but instead moving across two computers. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. I've got my Logitech K780 keyboard and M720 mouse, both connected to my Windows laptop and my Windows desktop PC. It doesn't have to be Windows to Windows. Logitech Flow works across Windows to Mac too. Now that you have seen the orientation of my desktop PC and my laptop, I'll just show you the screens so it's bigger for you to see the cursor movement. Just to let you all know before the demo, both my keyboard and mouse device 1 is connected to my desktop PC and device 2 is connected to my laptop. Let me show you. Switching to device 1 on both my mouse and keyboard. Now I can move my mouse and type on my desktop. And while I'm on my desktop device 1, let me enable my Logitech Flow on my desktop. By the way, both computers need to have the Logitech Options software installed in order for Logitech Flow to work across both computers. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. And I'll go through these settings later. I'm going to leave them as defaults for now. Ok, now I'm going to manually switch my keyboard and mouse over to device 2, which is my laptop. And now, I can move my mouse and type on my laptop. And like what I did on my desktop, I'm going to enable Logitech Flow on my Windows laptop too. Ok, now that we've got everything set up, finally we can start doing the demo now. Look at how my mouse cursor moves to the edge of the screen and across to the next computer. And notice how the mouse automatically switch across to the other device without me pressing any button on the mouse. Yes, the cursor on the previous computer is left behind on the edge of the screen as the cursor on the second computer takes over. Okay. Flowing to the edge of the screen now and to switch over to the other computer again. I'll just do this a couple more times for you to get a feel of how Logitech Flow works before I move on to more features. Also, notice my keyboard is not switching as my mouse switches across computers. I'm going to enable the link keyboard settings now. Ah, and when I enable this setting on one of the computer, the same link keyboard settings on the other computer is also enabled automatically. They are synchronized by default, which kind of makes sense, because both the Logitech Options software now talks to each other. Ok, now we have the link keyboard settings enabled. When I move the mouse cursor across the two computers, the keyboard will follow the mouse and switch across to the other computer without me pressing the keyboard device switch button. This is pretty impressive. This means both my keyboard and mouse can switch over at the same time. Once again, have a look at this a couple more times before I move on.
Okay, up next, I'm going to show you the copy and paste feature. This is kind of self-explanatory. Whatever text we copy to the clipboard on one computer, when we flow across to the other computer, that text will be available on the other computer's clipboard for us to paste. Have a look at this. I can use my mouse right click to copy and right click to paste. And I can also use my keyboard Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste. And this works for copying and pasting any Windows file as well. Let me copy this text file across from one computer to the other for you to see. Okay, on to the next settings. With this screen corners settings, I don't really use that because based on the instructions, I understand this is more for Apple Mac OS X hot corners. So I'm gonna skip this one. And as for this, press Ctrl key to switch computer's settings. Initially, when I started using Logitech Flow without enabling this, there were a lot of accidental flows across to the other computers. For example, I like to tile my windows by dragging the windows to the edge of the screen. And the Logitech Flow software mistaken that I'm trying to flow across to the other computer. So when I switch this press control key settings on, what happens is that if I want to flow across computers, I'll need to press the control key in order for the mouse cursor to flow across to the other computer. This is up to personal preference. For me, I like to make it obvious whether I'm flowing across to the other computer or not. So I have these settings enabled. After we enable Logitech Flow, there's also this icon on the taskbar indicating if Logitech Flow is enabled or disabled on this computer. By the way, in case you are wondering what is this strange dual screen laptop, check out my ASUS ZenBook Duo video using the link appearing on the top right. And I've also made a video on this laptop stand, which I purchased from Amazon. It's really good to prop up the laptop screens in order to improve airflow. I'll leave all these links in the description down below so you can check out my other videos on this laptop and this laptop stand. If you like productivity tips and tech gear videos like this one, feel free to subscribe and join our Sky Perspectives channel community. It's great to see so many of you have subscribed to the channel. I started this channel only wanting to share my tech gear stories and didn't expect to see thousands of subscribers. This is so humbling. Thanks for all of your support up until today. It's great to have all of you on this journey. Okay, thanks for watching and remember to like this video if you find it useful. Take care and look after yourself everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.